right, John. Thank you. This is all new for you this morning. They are some of the smallest babies born, often so small their own mothers can't even hold them. Now a doctor at the University at Buffalo is working on a special device to help moms of premature babies bond more with their children. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley shows us how. This baby boy weighed a little more than two pounds when he arrived May 1st at a Buffalo hospital. His mother gave us permission to use her Facebook video to demonstrate how skin to skin contact, also known as kangaroo care, helps to bond, heal, and grow preemies. But for preemies too tiny and sick to hold and in need of incubation, a new device is in development by some University at Buffalo researchers. Dr. Maman Rotwat is an assistant professor at UB's Jacobs School of Medicine and a neonatologist at Oshai's Children's Hospital. More than two years ago, Dr. Rotwat gave birth to her son, who was just over two pounds. So first three days of life, I couldn't even hold my own baby because of the fear of brain bleed. That's when she came up with a concept to create an incubator mattress. Researchers are working to collect sounds of a mom's heartbeat, breathing, and voice from a necklace of sensors worn by the mom. The data is inserted into the mattress, serving as the mom's chest. And then we'll be able to send the heartbeat of the mom there, as well as we'll be regulating the temperature and send the mom's voice there, like the soothing voice mom talking to the baby right there in the incubator. This preemie recently born at Children's is already large enough for kangaroo care. Parents can use a special pouch. This small piece of material is called Kangaware, and it's helping preemie babies here at Children's Hospital. Holding a preemie is the best benefit, but until that can happen, Dr. Rotwat hopes once her mattress is ready, it could provide the next best thing. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.